Hey everybody, welcome to the very first episode of Staying Sane with STEM. My name is Theo Westbrook and we're in my shop today where I'm going to show you guys a very fun and easy project to do. What our project is, is we're going to be making a torsion catapult. Torsion catapults are used in the medieval times to launch heavy rocks and stones during a siege. They are powered by ropes that were twisted up so that the launching arm could throw the rocks a long distance with a lot of force. Our torsion catapult will be powered by rubber bands and our launch arm will be a spoon and the body is going to be a cardboard box. What you're going to need are toothpicks, rubber bands, a pin, scissors, and a cardboard box. To start off the project, take your cardboard box and use a pair of scissors to cut off all these flaps. Make sure to save these flaps for later because we're going to need them. Now you should be left with a cardboard box that's free of flaps. What you're going to need to do now is you're going to need to cut a rectangle out of the back where the spoon's going to go. Try to make sure that your cutout is a few inches across in the middle and goes all the way down to the bottom. What you need to do now is you need to mark a hole that's about an inch from the back of the box where your cutout is, about half an inch from the top. And make sure you mark it on both sides. Now once you have your markings made, take a pen or pencil and poke a hole all the way through. Okay, now once you have your holes made, try to clear them out a little bit and get that excess cardboard out. You should now have a box with no flaps, a cutout in the back, and two small holes on either side. What we're going to do now is probably the hardest part about the whole assembly. You should take two rubber bands and punt them inside each other. Now pinch one end so you have a little loop, and you're going to punt this loop through one of the holes that you made in the side. Now once that loop is in the hole, what you're going to do is you're going to take your toothpick, you're going to put it through the cardboard, through the middle of the loop, and into the cardboard on the other side, so that your rubber bands are held in place by the toothpick. If you have one large rubber band like this, you can turn it over on itself and do the same thing just like this. What we're going to do next is we're going to stretch the rubber bands across to the other hole in the cardboard box and doing the exact same thing. Now your box should have rubber bands stretched all the way across. And now you see that these rubber bands are really pulling the sides in and we don't want that. So we're going to take one of the cardboard flaps that came off of the back of your box where your cutout is and you're going to take your scissors and cut a strip of it off that's about one and a half to two inches wide. It should look something like this. Now we're going to take this and we're going to fold it in half. You can kind of use your nails to make a crease down the middle. That will make it a lot easier to bend it. And once you bend it, you should have a triangle pyramid looking thing right here. This is going to be our support inside of the box. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put it in the cardboard box where it's bending the most to force the sides out. This will also act as a stop for a spoon as you're going to see later. If you have a hard time keeping it in place, you can tape it, but the pressure from either side should hold it still pretty good. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a toothpick, break off the ends to make it a little bit shorter. You're gonna take this, you're gonna stick it between the two rubber bands like so, and you're gonna twist. Now the direction you should twist should be opposite of the direction you want it to shoot. So since we want the spoon to launch this way, we're going to twist the rubber bands this way. So the tighter you twist it, the stronger the catapult's going to be. So twist it up as much as you want. If you want it to shoot really far, then twist it up a lot. If you don't want to shoot very far, then twist it up a little bit. But you can tweak this. But you can tweak this once you have the spoon in by just twisting it up more or unwinding it a little bit. Once you have it twisted up, take your spoon, insert it between the two rubber bands, and it should look like this. As you can see, your stopper is keeping the spoon from launching all the way into the bottom of the box. And that's what you want, because once the spoon hits this angle, you're gonna want your projectile to launch out. And with that, your catapult should now be done. Now you can tweak the power by twisting this rubber band up more, or by moving your stopper forward or backward to change the angle of the spoon. Now what I use for projectiles, I just take little pieces of ripped up notebook paper and smash them up into round little projectiles like so. 
Now you can launch marshmallows with this. I've been able to launch Legos with them. Really, you can launch whatever fits in the dish of the spoon and is light enough for your rubber bands to handle. I found that these work really well. They're really light, easy to make. You can have a ton of them and they're not gonna hurt anything. Now let's go test it out. So I'm taking this out to my backyard. We're gonna see just exactly how far this thing can launch. Launching in three, two, one. That didn't go very far. There's the catapult and there's the little wad of paper. That's about five feet, but I think we can do better than that. So I've upped the power on it by twisting up a little bit more. So we should get a little bit farther, but let's see what happens. Three, two, one. So my catapult's averaging about four to six feet, but I wonder if y'all can make yours launch farther than mine. This week when you tag your video to any of our social media outlets, make sure to show us how far it shot and the one that shot the farthest wins. Thank you guys so much. Please stay inside, stay safe. I hope you had fun. See you in the next video.